one left. We got one guy left. So by the power of elimination, can you guess who he is? The Final Form Ride Series 09, Kibiki Ongekiko. Ongekigo? I thought it was Ongekibo. Well, I think it's kind of a different thing. I'll show you in a bit. Um, I'm going to show you the box afterwards because it's going to be like a massive spoiler. But let's get on with it. So, for the actual figure. For the actual figure, accessories, we've got two of his only Ongeki Bow sticks. Ongeki Bow Rekka. Which, uh, you know, Yibiki the kid actually used in his Yibiki form when he very rarely used it. You twist. Oh, you might as well pull out. Yeah, you little prick. There. Okay. You also get these, which we'll get into in a minute. First, I'm going to actually put them on the figure. Hibiki. He's got the same arm problem as Kabuto, but we're not blaming him. Uh, on the back, he's got two little notches for these. Um, and, oh, I have to do it the other way around. Because he's freaking... Anyway, like that. But if you're really anal about it, you can actually remove this part or just flip it up. And there is actually a third in the correct position. So yeah. Um, the actual Hibiki figure is a very very nice purplish kind of, almost like his figure with red fists. And of course the gold oni face and the silver horns with the silver thing and the Takashi logo. Takashi, Takashi, Takashi. <laughs> and of course with all these figure accessories you can actually put them in the hands of anyone. Oh crap. Shit. Thing moved underneath the couch. Who's hitting me? Kabuto's hitting me. Must have hit her the crack I heard made about her sister. Ah. Okay. I just noticed something. These two are actually the two Ongeki Boreka sticks are um, the exact same mold. Uh, not remolded so that the uh, the little pig is yeah there we go I am going to draw on you now okay okay so unlike the other final form ride figures this guy is a triple changer and you'll see why in a minute although you probably kind of figured out what? Okay. Um, I really like his fist though. Like just the detailing on his fist. That's just awesome. That is one thing I wish Bandai of America would do to their figures. Because really they lose quite a bit of detail in the figures when they release them over here. It just sucks. Okay, so we're going to move his arms like that. We're going to take this. Flip it up. Or you can take his head. Crunch. Hurts. I think that was funny. That's just with three. Unbelievably, it's just with three. Oh well, I've got all day here to 
Okay, then we take his crotch, and his crotch is a bird head. Okay, now here's the tricky part. We take his legs, and we flip him. We spread him. We turn him. We move his feet inward. I don't know if you can actually see that. And yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not right. Wait a minute. Perhaps I actually did not. You know what? I think the last time I transformed this guy, I didn't flip him. So oh, there we go. And his first mode, which is one of his little flying bird, red bird guys. I can't remember the exact name of him. Name of him. Um, but yeah. So I did say he's got three modes. Well. Transform him into his third mode. We take the bird head, we flip it all the way down. It locks in place. We move his legs like that. We take the wings, we move these back in. And then we line these two pieces up. And we push them in. Why won't you go back in? Then we take his arms and we flip them. There are actually two pegs on each of these things where you can actually put the uh, fingers in and hold them. Start moving to the damn it, I'm moving. I'm not gonna do the second part of this, so I gotta hurry up. Otherwise, there's a good chance the audio might get wrecked on this one. I don't know if it may get wrecked already. There you go. And as you can see, he is an Ongeki drum. Or maybe that is the Ongeki ko. I don't know. Where did I put the box? Seriously, where did I put the box? There's the box. On the box, the back of the box, it basically just shows Hibiki pounding, uh, no, decayed pounding on Hibiki with his own Ongeki ball reka. And. Of course, the card that actually does have both forms. And the Takashi logo, which is the Hibiki symbol which they use for the show. <laughs> Hibiki! There we go. It's morphing time! <laughs> now, a lot of people actually crap on Hibiki. Because he is a lot different than all the other riders. He doesn't say Henshin. He doesn't even have a bike until like the last little bit of the series. But then again, then they did Rookie. Um, and there was like a lot of kanji, a lot of artsy, fartsy type things, a lot of just a lot of things that people hated. And um, I actually, first time I watched them, I hated it, so I shut it off. I deleted everything I had on my computer after the first episode. But then when I ran, finished, I think it was Fies, Fies or Blade, or one of them, um, I had run out of Common Rider except for all that was left was Hibiki, so I decided to give him another chance. But by then I was more uh, acclimated to Japanese culture, and what do you know, I liked him. And I still do. He's one of my favorites. Which sucks because there was that one actress on there who died. But hey. Akira Chan's cute. Same with Hit, uh, Hitomi. And... Although, it was like the first Kamen Rider appearance of the guy who played Zeranos. And he was a lanky, whiny little bitch. So, yeah. Anyway, that is it for the Final Form Ride figures. Now we're going to get onto the belt, but I have to turn my computer around because I actually have to stand for these, which means I'm going to have to hurt my back. So, here we go for the second part of this review day.